I'm going to see how these two computers compare when editing footage from all of these cameras. And we're gonna throw some heavy After Effects comps at it too. If you're new here, I'm Eric. I'm a freelance video creator based in Boston, Mass. I shoot, edit, animate, composite, etc. These machines basically cost the same amount of money, like 2,000 each. And this machine, when it came out, beat in most benchmarks iMac Pro, that $5,000 machine. So my primary camera is the Canon C70. Let's start with the easiest, which every computer should be able to handle, 8-bit 420 in 1080 no less. This green dot means that we are not dropping any frames. The playback is completely smooth. Now let's move on to what I shoot in pretty much ex exclusively with this camera, and that's 4K, 422, 10-bit, long gop compression XFABC. The reason I use long gop is because the file sizes are very small for the quality, but the downside is, and has always been, editing is pretty choppy, at least on this iMac. I am going to hit spacebar at the same exact time. They're, they're both playing, but I can already hear the fans on the desktop. We're getting very choppy, whereas it's playing back what seems to be perfectly smooth on the M1 Pro. However, six frames have been dropped. Now I hope my audio is still okay because the fans got very, very loud on the desktop. I have a creative LUT on an adjustment layer above everything. It's been going for a minute. We dropped 300 frames on the laptop while we have dropped 800 frames on the desktop. There's a very noticeable lag on my desktop between spacebar hitting and footage actually playing. Now the M1 Pro. Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Oh, a little bit of lag, stop, start. A little bit of lag and it plays. It's definitely there on both machines and it's definitely worse on the desktop. A little while back, I made a video with my friend Mark comparing his C200 to my C70, and I have some raw footage, which I can test now on each computer, and play. Zero dropped frames on the laptop right away, green, smooth sailing. The iMac has dropped 154 frames, and the M1 Pro has now dropped one frame with that LUT compared to 1,777. Also, go check out Mark's channel if you're into nature and beautiful cinematography. Now let's play some Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. I was the AC on this music video a year or two ago, and I also edited it, so I have the footage to play with. Playing back fine on the M1 MacBook Pro. Drop it a few frames, 15 frames on the iMac. So now let's add crazy LUTs. From a real world perspective, it's almost a draw but technically the new MacBook Pro does win. A lot of new cameras shoot with H.265 compression, which is very efficient, so the files get really small, but it's traditionally been a nightmare to work with. This morning, actually, I was doing a client shoot with my C70, and Neil Howland was second shooting with me with his FX3, and he shot in H.265. So right now I have footage of Neil standing in as we were uh, setting up the shot. Um, so the first thing I noticed is that the desktop didn't even play. <laughs> it waited for about three seconds. It's uneditable on this desktop, whereas we're still sitting pretty over on the laptop. It's green, it's, it's good. And the last test is a 1DX Mark III. And we dropped in total eight frames on the MacBook Pro, and we dropped 177 frames on the desktop. Point M1 Pro. So before we go to After Effects, let's make a quick pit stop in motion graphics inside of Premiere. Now this is something I almost never do, but recently I was working as part of a team of editors on a project. All three of us were using the same animation template in a Mogart file, I think that's how you pronounce it. I could not believe how much this choked up my desktop. It seemed to be way more taxing than actually working inside of After Effects natively. So I just downloaded a few free Mogart templates from Premium Beat and Mix Kit. This one has the cast of Friends as an opening title sequence. How about Sound It Out Films? Pretty damn smooth on both, to be honest. The M1 Pro has not dropped a single frame, whereas the desktop has dropped 285. So, oh, now we're going to the next template. Now we're dropping frames on both of these computers. 200 frames dropped so far. But I have to say, after seeing my long op footage play back like nothing, I was kind of hoping that these types of files would also be incredibly smooth on the laptop. That's not really the case. 
So now I will open up one of my fairly heavy After Effects comps. I worked with a designer. I did not design these beautiful screens here. I just did the animation. Both machines are on full quality. Fine on both machines. Now I'm just gonna make a new comp called Nightmare Test. Turbulent noise and turbulent displacement with the native After Effects effects, which I think are more CPU intensive. Desktop is definitely almost twice the frames per second. And now let's add the killer of all After Effects compositions. Camera, lens. And let's turn it up to 100. Neither is playing. I hear the fans on the desktop, but I don't see anything playing. Oh, we went forward a frame. And now the M1 just went forward a frame. The Intel desktop is getting 0 0.13 frames per second, compared to the M1 Pro is getting 0 0.08. All right, last After Effects test, ball action. Now let's add some grain on those balls. Nine frames per second on the desktop and real time on the M1 Pro. Wow. So far this After Effects test was the only time where the desktop slightly pulled ahead, but on other effects, we're getting real time compared to almost half time at 12 frames a second, 13 frames a second. I think they're both very capable. Neither one blows either one out of the water and they each take a point in certain categories. I'm going to kick out an H.264 file, which is what I always do for YouTube. Export the same exact time. Both at 1%. Oh, it happened. The fans turned on. And they are not quiet. I kind of didn't realize that my timeline of selects was almost an hour long. I'm gonna be here for a little while. <clears throat> so while these render, I guess I'll tell you about today's sponsor, which I'm just kidding, I don't have a sponsor. Anyone want a sponsor? Just hit 3000 subs this month. Thank you to each and every one of you. I just bought this laptop to be a machine on the go. If I was gonna be away from home for more than a few days, I used to carry this guy in its box with me so I could edit on the go. Now I don't have to do that anymore because this machine is almost as good at editing some things, way better at editing others. Let me know if you have any more questions about this laptop in relation to specifically video editing. It's gonna be a, uh, a nail biter here. Who's gonna race the, what? She's biting her nails. Come hang out. It's really bright. Hi, people. I hope you're enjoying your uh, buffering. <laughs> We're at 99%. 99%. Ah! 99%. Ah! You can uh, give the final results. 99%. Three seconds left, it says. 100, ah! 100%. This one won, and this one's still at 97%. Is that what we wanted? Is this a good result? Oh, I hit my head on the microphone. I'm not biased. I'm just doing the tests. He is an unbiased scientist of video.